It was morning. I heard a knock. It was the police. I opened the door. They said, Your parents died in car plane crash. Thank you for telling me. Good day. Wow, aren't I a bitch? That's Mr. Goldinger. Wow, he looks like an old wizard goblin. Gross. I'm not going to talk about this with you, but you're going to read a book. Very important. I don't read. Well, you better start. I don't think you heard me, old man. I don't read. I don't want to have to put a spell on you, but you leave me with no choice. If this gal shall not listen, she will and must obey. My command, read this book. Then I left with this book in my hand and rushed to my next class. A dumb ass faggot forgot to give me a pass. Shit, I'm gonna be late. It's kind of funny. Finally, school's over. I can read my book. Wait, did I just say that? Oh, never mind. I need to get home before Jamie freaks. Jamie is my half brother. He's 28, but I'm only 16, so I'm stuck with him. He's an ass. When I'm late, he beats me. It hurts, but he cares. I think. Ah, uh, there's my home, the south side and most darkest and darkest side of starlight. No one lives here but except Jamie and me. I got home and saw beer bottles everywhere. Jamie's home. I forgot. Jamie's an alcoholic. When he's at, not at work, he's usually drinking or getting some chick knocked up or beating me. And I can't tell the cops because he is the cops. The head chief, to be exact. I should just go to my room and read my book. Okay. The title is Starlight's Black Moon. Wow, weird, but kind of cool. Then I opened the page, and there was a warning. It said, If you are a witch, I strongly suggest you do not read this book, or... It's, it was scribbled out. That's gay. Well, never mind. Let's read the first and only thing it says. He took you to his world. He held you by the hand. You trust him. He never lets go. He takes you to Black Moon. What happens there? I guess you will have to decide on that. What the hell? This is a stupid story. What is it for a five-year-old? Screw it. It's Friday. I'm going to sleep. I escaped my. Then I woke up screaming. <laughs> my back hurt. Ow. It felt like I was sleeping on the floor. I looked and saw the hottest guy I've ever seen with midnight hair, black hair, and deep blue eyes. Wow, what a cutie. Then I no just noticed I was not in my basement. I was in this cabin. There was a super ugly, yucky rat. <laughs> Eating that, I'd rather starve. And then I saw Mr. I'm too good to look at. Staring at, to stare at, and I said, Hi. You can speak? Who are you? What are you? Are you a human or a witch? No, no, I'm a teenager who is deadly confused, so unconfuse me. I will answer your questions, okay? You're a witch. That's the only reason you are in this world. Got it? Good, let's go. Wait, wait. What are you saying? Are you saying I'm a witch? I read the stupid warning, but I didn't believe it was true. Wow. What's your name? Mine, mine's Amelia. Mine's Shade Nightfire. So what did your book say? Mine said that I would meet a girl who was caring, strong, and had a beautiful smile. He stared at me with a sly grin. The heat of jealousy ran through me. I knew it wasn't me. Whoever she was, she was one lucky bitch. I answered his question. My book said, he took you to his world, he held you by the hand, you trust him, you, he never lets you go, he takes you to Black Moon, what happens there, I guess you will have to decide on that. It's so freaking dumb. I mean, what and who am I supposed to find? I don't even know what the guy looks like, really. 
I'll help you get back to Black Moon if you help me find my girl. Okay, do we have a deal then? Deal, let's kiss, I mean, uh, count, count on it. I blushed all of a sudden, then he leaned over and kissed my cheek. Okay, let's go. Are we there yet? No.